Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Representative Luis Gutierrez from Illinois. Hello, Philadelphia. You know, my parents grew up in San Sebastián del Pepino, in rural Puerto Rico. They weren't educated, they didn't speak English, but they didn't even have a winter coat. Barely out of their teens, they came to the U.S. when I, and I was born in the great city of Chicago. My parents were born American citizens, but when they moved, along with half a million other Puerto Ricans in the 1950s, they were greeted with scorn and discrimination. Politicians called them criminals. They said my parents were dangerous disease and would ruin the country. Sound familiar to you tonight? Nobody spoke up against the bigotry and hatred my parents endured. So you better believe I'm using my voice against the discrimination we hear today. I will raise my voice against a bigot who thinks a judge born in Indiana can't do his job because his parents were born in Mexico. I'll raise my voice against a bully who calls hard-working immigrants criminals and rapists. Someone who promises to round up and deport families, millions of families, and then put up a wall between them and us. You have joined me in that fight, and so has Hillary Clinton. She stands with us so Americans remain and America remains a welcoming nation. We don't discriminate because of what you look like, who you love, how you pray, what language your parents speak, or where you were born. But let's be clear. My parents, when they came from Puerto Rico, weren't the only ones to confront discrimination. Every generation of newcomers, whoever and whatever they come from, Latin America, Europe, Africa, Asia, the Middle East, they're met with skepticism and suspicion. But every generation proves the skeptics wrong. Immigrants contribute to our communities and make America a great nation. Immigrants die defending our democracy. And you know what? They give our founding principles meaning in our time. Every time immigrants are labeled as them, but over time, they become part of us, we the people. About 11 million undocumented immigrants live, work, pay taxes, and raise their families in the United States of America. A lot of their families include U.S. citizens just like me. But listen, no matter what your family tree looks like, a fair immigration system is better for all of America. No matter what others say, it is simply a fantasy that we're going to round up and deport 11 million people. It's a sick, hateful fantasy. But let me tell you what gives me hope. In her heart, Hillary Clinton's dream for America is one where immigrants are allowed to come out of the shadows, get right with the law, pay their taxes, and not feel fear, and their families are going to be ripped apart. When Hillary Clinton steps to this podium, 
to accept the nomination, we'll all take a giant step forward. The broad and diverse America that fights for an inclusive and fair nation, our union of black and brown, white and African, and Asian people who love the earth and know that climate change is real and value education. We will all step up to that podium with her. Listen, we continue the work of our heroes like John Lewis and Dolores Huerta, Cesar Chavez, and Dr. Martin Luther King. And martyrs like Medgar Evers, who allowed me to have the ability to speak from this podium. We fight for equal rights and workers' rights. We believe that women deserve equal pay for equal work in this country. And we will not stand idly by because we believe that Congress has to keep its hands off Planned Parenthood. We believe that people should be able to love who they love and marry who they want to marry in the United States of America. And we believe that when you send your children to school or young people are having fun at a nightclub or you walk a beat as a police officer or you walk down the street in your neighborhood in Chicago, you shouldn't fear being shot. We will take on the NRA as Hillary with presidency of the United States. Yes, we believe in a country where this son of uneducated parents born in Puerto Rico can speak to this nation on this podium in the city where the United States of America was born. Les digo, juntos con Hillary Clinton como presidenta, haremos esta nación mejor, más segura y más fuerte. With Hillary, our nation will be greater, better, and stronger. Le digo gracias. Que Dios los bendiga. Sí se puede. Sí se puede. Sí se 